The journal entries of Ruby Frankie have just been made public and she is just as sick as we thought she was. Listen to this. July 23rd, 2023, Sunday. To begin separation from evil toward God, all the darkness needs exposed to light. And once the lies and sin is revealed, the body must engage in good work. And the good work needs to be painful. Otherwise, the service becomes another feel-good distraction. A day of fasting and prayer for me after learning my children have been spawns of Satan. R, that's her son, has been out of control. P, poop, lie, steal, run away. E, that's her daughter, crying, wailing. You could not know what this has been like unless you were here. Jody and I took E out to the desert. She refused to stay quiet and would scream and scream. Jody found a reservation cemetery, Shivwit Cemetery. She went out there in the heat, barefoot. E still tried to run. She screamed for another family, water, food, care, love. Oh, E, a manipulative play. You are loved, and after a couple hours of screaming and speaking nonsense, E finally laid down in the road quiet. We took her home. We took E, R, and J out the next day. E and Air barefoot to increase the discomfort and decrease the running away. The task at hand was to weed the cemetery. Huge sagebrush, thorns, broken glass, garbage overfull. We went a couple hours filling black bags and Joe's trunk bed. The kids began to mellow out a bit. R looked for shade today. Five hours of weed pulling. R finally started getting the hang of it. This is getting easier. I feel I'm getting stronger. I want to pull weeds out of my heart. What am I doing with my life? I don't want to live like this anymore. All children need is the experience of pulling obnoxious weeds, sweating in the sun, working while thirsty, and knowing what doing an anonymous act of service feels like. They are each begging to see how nice the cemetery looks after days of their hard work.